After Marshall, I've been all over the world, uh, playing in Europe, uh, playing the NBA, going back to Phoenix as a coach, and then uh, also the USA Olympic team. And really excited about what has happened in the past, but nothing is more exciting than what's happening in Marshall right now. It just got me excited. We'll have some of the best facilities in the United States, and that's what it's all about. It's about helping the kids, getting the community and, uh, and the state at the right place. The four years that I spent in Huntington and uh, at Marshall University with the best four years I've, I've had. You can feel the excitement. It gives you an energy uh, that I don't know if it's unique to Marshall, but it's definitely something that uh, I felt 40 years ago. It's strong now, and I think any kid that comes to Marshall will have a sense of family and a sense of uh, this commitment toward their education and toward their betterment as a person. I just can't say enough about uh, Huntington and about the university and about the leaders that are pushing it forward. And it's, it's really well overdue. And, uh, and hopefully we can get this done here as soon as we can so these students start to enjoy the benefits of uh, people's generosity. And also student, just students themselves can use it, uh, the medical facilities. Uh, and you have to keep this family going. You have to keep uh, striving to be the best. And that's what uh, Marshall's doing, not only in this campaign, but also on campus and, uh, and uh, different buildings going up. And like I said before, the, uh, the rec center. Uh, is one of the best in the United States and there's just so many good things going on in Marshall right now. It's a great time to, to push it further, uh, push it even further ahead. And like I said, our goal is to be second to nobody. We know that every player has a role on the team and we need each of you to be a player on this team and to contribute in whatever way that you can. And everybody will have his role and then we will be successful. There's nothing like coming home to try to make a difference uh, at your university. This is my university. Mike and Chad love Marshall University. They've just been wonderful people to work with. They're, they're class individuals. They reek with character and uh, they've got passion and they're committed to what we're trying to do. The landscape is changing. We must change with it. First of all, the $30 million worth of facilities that we're going to build are going to be state-of-the-art facilities. They're going to be first class, there will be no shortcuts taken, there will be facilities that we can recruit quality student athletes to. Student athletes today buy with their eyes. They look at your facilities. They look at where they're going to get the academic support. They look at where they're going to get the medical support. They look at where they're going to practice. They look at where they're going to compete. We have no Hall of Fame to honor and pay tribute to these student athletes. A facility to get your ankle taped, from a facility to get a tutor, from a facility to condition in in January when there's snow on the ground. All those things will do nothing but take our intercollegiate athletic program at Marshall University to a level that we've never been before. For coaches and for athletic programs, recruiting is the lifeblood. Now we've laid out a plan. Now we've laid out a vision. This is what we want to do. This is where we want to go. And we need every Marshall fan, alumni, and supporter to be a part of this. Failure is not an option. Coming to Marshall University, I want the most well-rounded experience for my child. I want the best academics. I want the best social life. I want the best athletic experience. I want it to be as well-rounded as it can possibly be. I think it's very important that we take pride in our story. There is one we are, and that's We Are Marshall. The Vision Campaign is unique in my opinion because it touches all areas of the athletic department. I know that this facility speaks volumes of the university and the people within the university who care more about me than just the athlete and what I do on the football field. And with the soccer stadium and the facility, I think it speaks volumes of the people within the university recognizing and appreciating our past, but understanding for us to get better, we have to move forward into the future. When I played at Marshall, I was taught one thing, and that is we play for championships. The vision campaign. So what's this about? The vision campaign is about us. It's about us not being a victim of the word no. This will be a successful campaign. Failure is not an option. Failure is not in my vocabulary. I encourage you to visit our website, herdvision.com. Use the website to get familiar with the campaign. Use the website to understand what we're trying to do here. If you're a true son or daughter of Marshall, you know this is exactly what we need for our university 
to succeed and move forward in the future. I would never ask you to give to a campaign that I haven't personally given. And I am giving to this campaign because I believe in this campaign, I believe in the people running this campaign, and I also believe in our university. And without the people and community, we have no university. There is no Marshall. That's the beauty of our story. That's what we should take pride in is it is about us. And if we're going to move forward as a university, then we together must step up, dig deep in our pockets, and make sure that this vision campaign will happen and that we will see an athletic indoor facility.